Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. My name is Nikolai Temerjev. I'm very glad to be able to present to you um, my project, which is called the Critical Review on the Music Program Malaysian Bulgaria. Yes, strangers and weaknesses. Uh, first, I would like to start with a short introduction of myself, and we will continue with the culture and art schools in Bulgaria. The, which are the first study in the objectives and findings uh, during my research project uh, frame it as a postdoctoral study at UPSI in Perak, Malaysia. And a short review of the, how the project has been created. Um, all, second study overview objectives and findings and theoretical framework for the next study my phd was uh, centered on the uh, culture and art school in Bulgaria, which are uh, altogether 23 full frame schools and they have different specifications. For example, uh, some are major in music, another one in arts, in folk arts and traditions. Uh, we have a school languages like classic languages, ancient languages. Uh, in my PhD, uh, the center of the interest was the music schools, uh, which are now transformed into art and performing arts schools. Well, um, the PG was uh, published as a book, it's available, uh, it's in German. But this is also abstract in English, provide if you're interested. Uh, the, the result of the PhD study have prompted interest to study gifted musical programs around the world. Um, and which has uh, helped me to to become more open-minded and interested. So, for example, um, a short summary was published Music School Research book of our institute, the Institute for Cultural Management and, uh, and Cultural Studies in at the Music University of Vienna. And I was so glad to be invited at the first Impact conference in 2016, which uh, was held in Tanjung Malim, where I presented the, and the, my short summary. That's where I met Professor Client, Professor Zaharu, found my studies interesting, and they invited the postdoc study the uh, the the postdoctoral study was uh, aimed on the music diploma students at UPSI uh, in order to improve their studying uh, experience at UPSI. And one of the major problems was that relatively pro progressive and advanced students were visiting the same lectures and settings with the beginners. That's why the university saw uh, a room for improvement. Uh, for example, the, uh, by establishing a gifted music program. And my job as a postdoctoral doctoral researcher was to identify where the where the weaknesses of the current program are kind of making 
rotation swing. So we use the ground theory method to to study the to interview the music diploma students as well as the lectures. Um, there were also observations methods where I visit the applied music classes and were involved in different uh, activities. Uh, after that, on behalf of, of the project, there was a seven week period evaluation period and then the, the, t the students that identified as a gifted took a, uh, um, a second level of second level of identification where they um, were identified according to seven a checklist which was carried out for seven weeks. And uh, that's where the actually the the project uh, was stopped uh, for different reasons. So the last objective was, was the taking audition with a selected gifted student actually uh, hasn't happened. Uh, anyway, we continued with the objective three, which was conducting the quality of interview with the gifted students. And we use the grounded theory approach to create the framework. The framework, the framework was created in form of in form of a theoretical narrative that explained the pluses and minuses of the current program, the challenges that the students are facing, the lectures as well and the recommendations that were given. Well, the, uh, the achievements of the, that study was that we created a checklist which was based on a ring jury three ring concept. We have identified students according to that checklist which we, have, we created and was which was carried on for seven weeks. The quality of interview were conducted face to face and via phone. The faculty students and other staff members. Also, as I already mentioned, the theoretical narrative was um, uh, emerged from this studio uh, study. And a summary of the study was published in the um, Kyoto Review on Southeast Asia, which is a very well-known and recognized uh, journal in Asia. So, uh, although the study can accomplish its main objective, the creating of the fact actual framework it has uh, achieved good results which are visible and can be used by everyone who is interested in music education in Malaysia and particularly interested in doing the study and teaching experience at OPSI. This is a short review of the black classes which we have visited.
although the music is very beautiful, I need to go ahead. The time is limited. This was a well, there was another positive um, and factor which I have. Um, I was very thankful I was able to uh, get through my study at Upsi that I learned uh, quite a bit about the, the background of the music education in Malaysia. So this uh, have of course uh, awake my research interest about uh, another program so where the gifted music students uh, you know where they growing where they develop their talents and so I came to the Permata Malaysia uh, which were very kind uh, they invited me uh, Mr. Mustafa was the probably still the head of the program uh, the music permat uh, yeah so we uh, have uh, choosing int very interesting journey with him and I was also able to observe the, the rehearsals there so I can hear that it's a totally different kind of music and different style this is the two second one two one and two and now. yes so we can see that the different style that what we heard in see but this is also gifted to students so it was very important for the study to observation also as part of the my uh, stay in Malaysia, I was able to visit uh, some of the scholars saying in the School of Arts in Malaysia. The first one was in Kuching and also was uh, met by very friendly and uh, exciting staff. And uh, so I studied about the scholars in, in Sarawak and uh, have an interesting discussion interview with the the principal with the music teacher and also with the staff members. Uh, luckily, I was also able to visit the school in Kuala Lumpur, where I also was met by the music teacher. And she was really very kind and it was great to, to be able to meet her there and to learn more about the music program offered by Shkola Seng in Kuala Lumpur. And this is the third, actually the third, I call them um, basically we have the three major music educational highways in Malaysia. One is the, the associate, the, which is the top to the university level. And we have the, the then we have two different other ways that is the Schola Sini that offer and the Permata music on the other hand. And we have also the, the widest, the most uh, um, popular one is the private music schools, which is, uh, has unfortunately no, uh, they have no centralized curriculum, they have no um, they're not centralized like the like what's the case in the schools in Europe, but uh, they still offer doing very important job educating young children in music. And I was very happy to be able to visit the academy as a case study in in uh, Kantan. Kantan. Uh, can see the it's a very uh, western style music studio but they also offer some Chinese instruments library is uh, I think they very very important educational job well uh, this is actually the second study which was uh, fo focusing on the uh, comparison between Permata and Scola Seni. And 
now uh, actually already there is an article about it that uh, should be uh, soon published and I will be glad to share with you well we have now I am about to plan my next study which is going to be the which I would like to use the theoretical framework from the first study at UPSI uh, which was the altogether reconstructs the environment influencing the multi educational role strain which could, could be called the environment music educational theory the second one is the exceptional proficiency above average ability creativity and task application as future of gifted behaving multiple intelligent concept this could be uh, in short and uh, called um, multi intelligent concept for music learning and teaching and the last one is the emotional intelligence and the causing reinforcement of self-identity as factors contributing for the development of young talent which could be called the emotional it could be called the emotional intelligence music theory okay so we have this uh, framework which uh, will be present in the hopefully with the next study um, which is going to compare the music schools in Malaysia and Bulgaria okay and this was for me thank you very much and um, thanks for your listening I'm glad to reply your questions you can see my email here goodbye